This summer I cycled, paddleboarded and hiked all the way from the bottom to the very top of Scotland and I called it the Scottish Adventure Triathlon. I hiked the Cape Wrath Trail, a 370 km long distance walk from Fort William to the most northwesterly point of mainland Britain, Cape Wrath. It's boggy, it's midge infested, but it's absolutely incredible. And because I survived it, I thought I'd tell you how. Come on boys, follow mama. <laughs> Just before we start, I'm excited to tell you about the sponsor of this video. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and they've got thousands of inspiring classes. It's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, yes, and they're always launching new premium classes of all skill levels. I recently took a course called Hand Lettering in Motion by a guy called Jake Bartlett. And I don't know if you noticed that the introduction of this video was a little bit fancier than normal with some moving text and a bit of a map thing going on. Cheers, Jake. Although I've dabbled with After Effects before, I've never really understood what I was actually doing. So taking Jake's course and another one of Jake's courses called The Beginner's Guide to After Effects has helped give me a good grounding on how the program actually works. And the lovely people at Skillshare have given me something for you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity too. So thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Yeah, welcome to the Cape Raft Trail. <laughs> I don't really know how to introduce this. Um, you think I've never done this before, yet I have. Uh, so I've just come on the last ferry across from Fort William to start the Cape Raft Trail this evening. It's Monday evening, two and a half kilometers done, 367.5 to go. <laughs> Um, and probably some more because I'm going to get lost a lot. Um, I've basically spent the whole day travelling. My train was late getting into Fort William and then the last ferry it says on the website is by request only. So you have to phone them. So I phoned them as soon as I got off the train and the guy sounded... Oh God, I'm getting blinded by it. Can you believe it? The sun's out in Scotland. <laughs> I don't want to curse it. Um, yeah, so I phoned the guy and he sounded all a bit confused and was like, today? And I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> So he said, all oh, right, yeah, okay, um, thanks for phoning, I'll make sure there's someone down there. So I was thinking, this ferry isn't going to bloody come, is it? <laughs> I'm not going to get on the ferry tonight, I'm going to have to camp on the shores in Fort William and come tomorrow. So I panicked. <laughs> it was like 20 to 5, so I panicked. I was going to get pizza and everything, this was my plan, have a nice pizza in Fort William, you know, stock up, get a bit fat before I leave. And uh, didn't get my pizza, I ran into Tesco's, bought a bloody meal deal. <laughs> legged it down to the ferry thing just because I had a feeling it was just gonna go tits up so I just wanted to get there got there and the like the little you know boat thing was there S um the guy who drives it was sat on it so I just said um can I go across he was like yeah we're going at half five I was like all right cool 
will there be other people? And he was like, yeah, there'll probably be a few other people. So anyway, for anyone who's planning to do this, the last ferry is at half past five. You probably don't need to phone. You can probably just turn up. But then don't listen to me just in case that doesn't happen. Uh, so yeah, anyway, got quite a long, well, not massively long, but a bit of a road section. Um, and then we're gonna, this heads south. So I'm doing the Noidart section to start. Um, the alternative is to go the Great Glen, what's it called? The Cal Great Glen Way? The one that follows the Caledonian Canal, anyway, the other way. Uh, I'm not doing that section, I'm doing, I'm going for the more picturesque section. So I'm heading south along Loch Linney, opposite Fort William. Um, and then I'll be heading in west up Kona Glen shortly, well, you know, in a bit. So hopefully find a nice camp spot there for tonight and then get a bit of a head start on doing a full day tomorrow then. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't think this has kicked in yet because well, I've never walked 370 kilometers in my bloody life, man. I probably haven't even walked that over my lifetime. No, I have, but still, it's a long way that, isn't it? <sighs> anyway, got my poles, got a bag full of crap, got a loose plan. What can go wrong? So I'm already concerned about um, how much memory card space I've got because I've just spent ages taking about 900 photos of Ben Nervous because there was a rainbow by it. I think it's gone now, thank God. <laughs> so if you're wondering about this random bag that's hanging off me, wasn't going to tell you because I look like an idiot, but uh, oh, what the hell, I'm already feeling like my dignity's gone and I'm in a sharing mode. So um, this bag <laughs> is the bag of stuff that I haven't really decided what I'm doing with it yet because I couldn't fit it in my bag. <laughs> I couldn't fit it in my pack and I didn't want to leave it. And I was literally packing last minute. I'll go into this in more detail at some point, but um, yeah, ball of chaos at the end, as usual. And uh, could not fit this in for love nor money. So just kept carrying this little bag, you know, like driving up with this stuff still in this little bag, getting to my brother's house where I was leaving my van with this stuff still in this little bag then getting on the train with this stuff still in this little bag so at that point there's no going back i can't just dump it somewhere well i'm not dumping it somewhere it's got a solar panel in it which cost me under a pound <laughs> so uh here we are <laughs> we got this freaking little bag of stuff that i don't know what i'm doing with you watch now i'll carry this like this to cape wrath probably <laughs> God. if i fail this oh well, it's not really any wonder is it <laughs> let's be real oh god So I've got the tent up, 
but I'm currently running to try and like tempt all the midges to come over here <laughs> so that I can then put everything in the tent because I don't want to open the door. Honestly, I don't know if you can see on this, but they are absolutely swarming. They're not here yet. Some of them are here. I'm trying to get them to follow me. It's like herding cows this, but like wingy cows, wingy bitey cows. They're more fucking annoying than cows. Okay, let's see if we can get some stuff in. <laughs> Honestly, I just can't even look up because there's so many. They're just swarming. Are they coming? Oh, let's do another lap, is it? Do another lap. <laughs> Come on, boys. Follow mama. <laughs> If anybody comes to Scotland to do this in the summer, August is the midgy month. Get one of these. Do not come without a midgy jacket and midgy mitts. They came with the jacket. Honest to God, absolute lifesaver. Unfortunately, I did have to throw out of my pack in um, the smoke coils, which I used when I was doing the paddleboarding section of this. Um, didn't have enough space in the pack absolutely regretting that decision right now I'm not gonna lie <laughs> what a tit should have left something less important like i don't know my tent or something See really. It's like water and dead midges. It's gross. <laughs> They're literally all over me. Look boys, this is your grandfather, your mother, your grandmother, all dead on here. Do you want this to happen to you? Look at ya. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> ah! I don't think it's working. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here! Oh, we just need to move. Oh, God. Let's go. There's another one for the Bridge Appreciation Society. Look at that, boys. I'm not sure really about its engineering. <laughs> I don't even need to go over this bridge, not gonna lie. 
Just wanted to try it. <laughs> See if it works, you know? Oh, there's the peak. <laughs> ah, we out. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Good morning. I'm finally out of the midgy jacket. Woohoo! Coming out of that is really weird because it's like I've been in it for like well since last night so like you can't see properly it's weird anyway so yeah last night was quite midgy-ish <laughs> fully expected to be honest so i can't really complain but um wow they were bad <laughs> so i'm gonna complain no um yeah i had a bit of a party with the midgies outside the tent you know thought that was fine but way too many of them invited them in for an unplanned after party and when I tried to get them to leave, they just wouldn't. <laughs> I tried the midgy bouncers, they wouldn't have an any of it. So I um, had to sleep with the midgy jacket on, which is fine. Uh, and then this morning, I got up at half six, which sounds kind of late really, but I, um, I've been awake. <laughs> I didn't really sleep very well, put it that way. I spoke about it before in another vlog, but I get sleep paralysis, so in the night it was probably sleep paralysis but i genuinely thought somebody walked right next to my tent and like rocked it a bit like walked that close there was definitely deer about because i heard them earlier on it was it was probably my sleep paralysis and there probably was no one there but i did have in my head that it's deer stalking season so i did think oh could it be that but you wouldn't walk that close to my tent <laughs> So yeah, I think that was sleep paralysis. So my heart was racing from that and I didn't sleep that well, but hey, it is what it is. I'll get so tired soon that I'll just be unconscious. So it'll be fine. <laughs> um, got some water from the river, had a bit of a wash and that. Definitely got a bit dehydrated yesterday. Just didn't drink enough all day. I mean, I only walked for like three and a half hours, but I just didn't drink enough in the day. So I brought the um, rehydration tablets with me. They taste buzzing. It doesn't matter what flavouring they put in them. I don't care. They taste minging anyway. But um, they, they serve a purpose. So yeah, I've been sipping on one of them half retching <laughs> all morning. Um, just to, I just don't want to start off on a dehydrated foot. It's not a good idea. Um, and to be honest, the hardest part of this so far, and I know I'm not very far in, but is trying to remind myself that it's a marathon, not a sprint, because I really struggle to... I don't do many adventures that are like this long. And even the, so the first half of this um, Scottish adventure triathlon that I've made up, um, which was the cycling and the paddleboard in, they were both relatively short. Like I only cycled for a day and a bit. And then the paddleboard and I did in five and a half days. And I think my body's maximum of being able to just rag myself without really prioritizing my nutri nutrition, hydration, sleep, recovery, pace, all that, without prioritizing all that, my maximum is like five days. After that, I can't. <laughs> so I need to dial it back and prioritize all those things and especially pace and just not be a dick because this is a long way. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if anyone else is like that, definitely think about that if you're going to do something like this. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling all right so far. Obviously, I haven't really done much yet, but midges were horrendous this morning. Um, packing up was a little bit of a drama because I broke all of my packing rules for this um, trip, by the way. One of which, hang on, I'm going to swap arms. One of which is always leave room for like packing mayhem because when you pack in the house you're going to play the best game of tetris you've ever played in your life because you've got hours and you're going to just you know you're going to do it really strategically as soon as you're out in the field and there's three million midges on your face you're not going to pack like that ever again <laughs> so you need to always ro leave room to like account for that and i didn't <laughs> i knew i wasn't and i knew it was a bad idea but i didn't really have any choice like there was nothing else i could take out so it is what it is. So it took me about an hour and a half this morning to do water wash and all that crap. Um, I haven't eaten. I've just had a, a bar this morning. Anyway, I'm yakking on here, but the plan is, so I follow a track now for quite a while. Then it slopes up and it goes over the top, down the other side, start heading north then towards Glenfinnan, get to Glenfinnan and there's a visitor centre. So, um, I, I don't want it. I'm trying to preserve my food at the moment, so I'm going to probably get some food there for lunch because uh, it's one of the few stops I can do and then push on and see how far I can get from Glenfinnan. 
And yeah, I'm excited. This is good. This is really good so far. <laughs> There's a snakey snake, snakey snake. I think he shot himself as much as I did. <laughs> and then off you go. Snake. Job. I didn't want to stay in there, eh? So this is the point where we start heading up, so you can just see the track heading up there, and then boop over the top. That's officially my first bit of bog, bog virgin, well I'm not but <laughs> a bog virgin that is, um, you know, but I'm Cape Wrath Trail bog virgin, not anymore, thank you for initiating me, there's going to be so much more to come. I tell you what, that uh, track section is actually like really long. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. This is such an amazing glen. But um, I am actually just about ready now for this kind of grassy uphill kind of stretch. Just like to mix up my terrain, you know? Uh, if this whole thing was on track, I'd actually be fuming. I think a lot of like the West Highland Way and that is on track. I don't know, I haven't properly looked into it, but I would be fuming if it was all track. But then I'm saying that. Once I've been in a bog for like 25k, I'll be begging for the tracks, innit? <laughs> it's time to get the alligators on. It's getting a bit bog-tastic. Yay, these are sexy, aren't they? I am glad I put on the uh, alligator Gatorades now. To be honest, it's a bit boggy down here. And so we're hitting this gate and then we're heading down there and then there's a track that goes round to the left and then it takes us into Glenfinnan. So I'm currently walking towards Glenfinnan on this wooden track which is technically closed because there are signs to say that it's closed because of forestry work but this nice lady um, on her e-bike stopped to talk to me and she's like I'd just go through <laughs> and I, to be honest I was already thinking the same thing because if I didn't go through here I'd have to go back the way I just came and then cut out and try and do the main road which would just be dangerous or go that way to like god knows where well i didn't even consider it to be honest i was like oh fuck off <laughs> i'm going this way we'll just see what happens it's not that far anyway can't hear any forestry work
So after my speech about prioritising food, blah blah blah, I definitely hadn't and was really feeling the effects by this point. I was starving and yes, I ate the cake before I got the burger and chips. Do not judge me. I sat here for way longer than I'd actually planned to and then eventually set off up towards the viaduct with the intention of going past the Bothy and camping further up the valley. Glen, sorry, I mean Glen. It's a Welsh thing, valley. Men. Same, right? This is where 300 Scottish people message me like, A valley is not a glen! Anyway. So, welcome to my home for tonight. Look at this bothy, it's really cool. It's got like a fire area. It's got electric. <laughs> it's literally got electricity in it. I'm charging my phone in a bothy. What the hell? <laughs> and then there's this area over here. There's another girl already staying here tonight called Ellen. Um, so she's just gone out for a swim. And uh, so we're gonna make a fire later. I've never slept in a bothy before, but so I kind of came in like, Mm, I might, I might not. Um, I'll see who's here. I've always been a bit weird about like who might be in them. Um, but then I came in and Ellen was here and she's really nice. So I was like, yeah, I can't not. Like, look at it. So good. If you're gonna have your first Bothy experience, may as well have it on the Cape Wrath Trail in Scotland. Morning, campy, glampy, wanky, wankers. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm really hyper and I've just needed to let it out. <laughs> I had an awesome night in the bothy, but I'm quite like a morning person. So I was trying to keep it in this morning and just not be annoying. <laughs> so I just needed to let it out on you, sorry. Um, yeah, awesome night in the bothy um, with Ellen. She was awesome. Um, she's from Texas and she's over here because she's going to row around the Isle of Mull but she was supposed to be doing 10 day quarantine but they lifted the rules just as she got here so she's having like a 10 day bothy adventure which is really awesome. She was so lovely. I feel like she's kind of my spirit animal because she's like really chill and like says things like oh I've made peace with the weather like whatever it is it is and I'm like yeah yeah me too yeah and then you get me out here and if it pisses down I'll be like fuck off! <laughs> I have not made peace with the weather. Like, please, please don't storm on me. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's really good. So if anyone is doing this, definitely recommend that bothy um, just up from Glenfinnan because it's just at the end of like the road as it becomes a track. Um, it's got electricity in it. But if you don't get in the bothy, there's loads of camp spots up the river. Um, I met a few other people who are camping up the river from Glenfinnan. So definitely that's a good camp place if you are doing this. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I've come, uh, I've left the Bothy, come up the track, up the Bilach. I'm just about to go over the top and I head down the other side and then round. And I'm aiming to get all the way down to um, Loch Nervis today, the head of Loch Nervis, which is about 24k-ish today. Um, so that should be fine. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how we go. I'm really excited. <laughs> I tell you what, breakfast makes a hell of a difference. Like two porridges and a peanut butter. I'm on fire. <laughs> I need to calm down. Glad I put the crocodile dundies on this morning. Doot doot. <laughs> Boggy bog life. 
It's very nice. I actually considered setting up the camera and vaulting this gate with my pack on, just because I thought it would be funny. And then the sensible side kicked in and I thought, well, I'm a couple of days into this, probably not a good idea to give myself internal bleeding at this stage, do you know what I mean? That's where I've just come from, up there. How beautiful is this place, man? Oh. Sorry, natural reaction. <laughs> oh, I saw that one come in. <laughs> First bog leg loss. <laughs> Thank God for the crocodiles. Actually, wasn't that bad, but it was my first one. <sighs> Under a tree, do 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 do. Under a tree, do 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 do. Darling, it's less weather. It is much better. Take it from me. It's time, Simba. Water roof time. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> so, oh, we're a bit, bit wet there, aren't we? <laughs> a little bit moist. So just cross this river and you can see that if this was in full spate, it would probably be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But obviously, you don't have to do that much, so it's all good, mate. It's all good. Thank God. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have some more taxing rivers, shall we say, as we go. Love a swim, me, <laughs> with a backpack. I tried to make you a pole tripod so I could walk past. It didn't happen. So fuck you. Yeah. I ain't doing it. But look at this place, man. This is what it's about when you're literally just surrounded by the mountains. <laughs> Shit, the best. Oh, we got one. Um, see this wee junction, but yeah, I'm supposed to go, I'm supposed to go up there, weren't I? Came from there, didn't I? Meant to go up there, weren't I? Where did I fucking go? Down there. <laughs> Mincing along in my own little world. Dickhead. Anyway, took it as a sign I should stop and get in the snack bag. Not mine, but uh, we'll just get that for them, shall we? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not carrying enough. 
I'll just take someone else's lifter as well, shall I? <laughs> uh, I've got this thing that um, when I'm on like, a, you know, like something long like this or something that's a challenge, I look so funny right now. Um, <laughs> if I see a, a piece of litter that particularly stands out to me, I have to pick it up because otherwise I'm convinced that I'm going to be cursed and something's going to go wrong in the challenge. Not that I don't pick up litter anyway, I do, but um, what I mean is if I was on a beach and there was like litter everywhere and you just haven't got time to like do a full sweep, if there's something that specifically stands out, I have to pick it up. I've just come out of these woods um, in Glen Desserie and apparently there's a bothy down here. I'm going to carry on after because I want to go further, but... I'm just gonna go and see if I can find this bothy and just have five minutes, you know? I'll just do with a little <laughs> five minutes. There she is. Actual bothy. And if there's anyone in. Hello! Hello? I don't think, don't think there's anyone in. Ooh. Oh, there is someone staying here. <laughs> They're just not here. Yeah, there's definitely people here. They've just gone out. <laughs> This is an epic bothy. Jesus. Look at it. All this space. Had a nice chilled five minutes rest in the bothy with a chocolate bar, kind of wondering if the people who'd left their stuff there would come back. This might be unpopular opinion, but do we kind of think it's fair to leave your stuff out in a bothy during the day when you've gone out hiking? Like, fair enough, leave stuff there, but pack it up? No, people probably slate me for this, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, yeah, chilled five minutes until the chocolate bar kicked in. You don't get much energy in a chocolate wafer bar and I probably used it all in that little spurt. But anyway, my spirit stayed high because the scenery was absolutely beautiful. wet <laughs> so freaking wet Scotland another bit for the collection it's too bright I couldn't miss it this is the life! <laughs> the guidebook says like, oh these areas will be like really boggy, la 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 la, making it all negative. And I'm like, mate, I'm from Wales, I fucking live for this shit. I live in this shit. <laughs> I'm actually having a better day today than I did yesterday. And yesterday was sunny and like, Amazing. I like this, it's funny. <laughs> I will, I, I'm probably gonna take that back, but <laughs> for now, I'm living the dream.
Right, I'm not joking, but there's fish swimming on the path. <laughs> they look well confused. Well, I mean, you can't really tell that, obviously. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Oh, I'll be it now, I won't see any, will I? You'll just think I'm lying. I'm not lying. There's literally fish swimming up the path. You just have to take my word for it. There was honestly fish swimming up the path. <laughs> they're just all confused because they're like, what the shed? They probably, I don't know, maybe come up there, leaped up and then got all. Welcome to another episode of What Can I Find On This Path? A pair of dentures for you. Nice. Uh, weasel's tail. Nice, see that weasel's tail there? Look at it! This is amazing! <laughs> the sun has come out! And it's insane! Look up there! Ooh. <laughs> oh my god! This is the best day ever! Oh, look at it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just look at that! <laughs> It's so good! Oh my god, look! I just really need to get down there because it looks incredible! shades on because uh, it's a bit sunny <laughs> look at the state of me and look at my glasses I can't see shit <laughs> I've done almost 27 kilometers which is more than I thought it was gonna be but I'm having the best day of my life <laughs> it's just I can't can't even tell you like my little GoPro does not even stand a chance with this it's just you can't see it man it just it's insane just believe me <laughs> Here's a beautiful sight for you. The midges annihilated my ankles. My feet have gone white as well. Look. Ooh. They've gone wrinkly and white. <laughs> uh, but hey ho. I'm uh, in my comfies now, warm, just waiting for my food to finish doing whatever it has to do. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I'm good for the night. 
don't know if I'll see. <laughs> this is the first camp meal that I've had because I've been really trying to retain like my food and I've hardly ate anything today. Like I had two sachets of porridge this morning with peanut butter, a chocolate wafer and a few sweets and that's all I've had all day and it's like half eight and I've hiked for 12 hours. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat more tomorrow. Like there's literally no point reserving food for days that I might not even make it to because I'll just die now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It just makes no sense. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and eat this now and then just go to sleep. Bye. Usually I end up going for the 500 midges in my pants because I just don't want to stink a piss. <laughs> the motivation for the video and going down. I really enjoy it but I do get to the point where I'm like if I have to go in that bag to get a battery you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>